Salam Aleco, Maleco Sala, con los buenos días. Que Sam Pungo los bendiga a todos. I pray that Sam Pungo blesses you guys all. Uh, and blessings to your family members and everything. Today, uh, uh, I came in this morning to speak about a, a, a topic. Um, like always, not too long. Something something simple and at the same time not simple. Um, and I'm only sure that a lot of you guys either felt or been through these these situations in your life. Um, uh, and um, sometimes um, you find it difficult to to speak about it or talk about it because uh, it could be your own mind that's thinking this way and it's not um, that's not the way it is you understand let me close this window for the noise um, and what we're talking about is the the differences between a God child and a godfather or godmother in the tradition. And then Kisi Malongo and Palo Mayumbe. There's times that we as God children feel as though we have done something to our elder or said something to our elder or communicated in a certain way something in, in, in either a dialogue or a message or something that sometimes we feel as though because, you know, because it, it becomes almost like a, a coincidence, you know, that after you have had this conversation or this talk or something, you feel as though that, that, um, that something going on between you and your godparent. Like there's some energy. Not that nothing we we're not speaking about uh disrespecting whether the godfather to the godchild, the godchild. No, we're not talking about just simple things and simple talks and everyday life going. Um that you would sometimes speak to, to, to your elder or your elders will speak to you and either you yourself don't have the energy to respond back in a in a better way I would say a more clear way or vice versa when you get try to get in contact or you talk to them um, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like this you feel you feel something you know you feel that it's that's a barrier something is hitting somewhere something is not right and sometimes it's you in your mind and sometimes it's not you sometimes there is something going on the problem is that sometimes what happens is since it's not such a big deal it's probably a miscommunication or the person hasn't that day wasn't feeling too good or or the person wanted to do something and you, uh, you, you I don't know vice versa you as a godchild didn't want to or, or or didn't have the time or whatever you know sometimes you start you you know you you these kind of things come up and let me tell you something I I always said that since texting started coming out, the texting on the phones because I text my godfather, right? And sometimes I leave voice messages too and he does to me. And sometimes we call each other. FaceTime and all. But texting it's one way to communicate right and depending how you write your answers or your questions or whatever you're speaking about could have a big influence 
of how the conversation or how the other person receives that vibration, that signal. Because you might write something with a good intention, with nothing not being, um, you didn't write anything meaning anything wrong or something. But on the other side, either you or your elder could receive that message and read it and understand it a totally different way. And that could bring a little miscommunication, a little, you know, annoyance between you and your godfather or your godfather and you or your godmother and you or you and your godmother. I mean, it's common sense, you understand? Um, so sometimes, a lot of times, the best thing for you to do is when you feel this type of way. Because like I said, it could be you, it could be your godmother, your godfather, or it could be a miscommunication. Sometimes the best thing to do is, is talk about it with your elder or let a couple of days pass and let that go. Why? Because it could be you that day having a bad day it could be her or him that day having a bad day and that could cause a bigger problem if we uh, keep on jabbing the screwdriver in the hole, you understand? And you don't want to do that because that's not what this is supposed to be about. You know, I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a, I'm a person, right, that since I've been in this tradition, I have gone through certain things that were not pleasing and that were not great and lost a lot of money and been, you know, treated certain ways and taught certain things incorrectly and received things that didn't work, that were no good, that I am of the type that I watch out, you understand? I watch out, I'm, a, I'm aware now of what, of who I speak to, um, how do they speak to me? and how I see how they act towards me because of the wrong that I have received in the past, um, I have a guard up. Not in a negative way, but in a guard. The same way how my, my godfather would, is analyzing me and studying me, I'm analyzing and studying him also because of what I've been through in the past, you know? You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's not easy for you to, to come into to a, let's say, uh, leave or be in, a, in, in certain ends under certain elders and be treated a certain way. And then when you in a different Munanso, You have you you always you always stay with a little bit of that uh, that um, resentment from the other places that you have been associated with that you were treated wrong. So you put up kind of like a like you already have a guard, and I'm that way, and I understand that I'm that way. You know because of what I just explained. And I know that a lot of you guys are as I am, or maybe <laughs> worse than I am. I don't trust nobody, you know? And it's just something that happens within time. And it's something that, that, that is instilled in you because of what 
you have been through what you went through and all this type of things and blah 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 right what i'm trying to get down to is that if you feel as though because i have felt it that you're having a miscommunication or there's something going around with your elder take the time and talk to your elder I'll give you guys, or you know, a couple of days to really think of what happened that you feel this type of almost like like desertment. You know, like you feel like you're being deserted. You feel like I know sometimes you feel like you um. You have left a house to be in a better place to learn and to do better. And then at this house that you think that you're gonna be doing good and doing great and learning and the Tata is great or the Yaya is great, you start feeling the same discernment like from the places before. So your guard starts coming up. That's what I'm trying to say. You know. Speak to your elders when you can about the situation. Uh, if your elders don't want to talk about it, give it a couple of days. And try to speak verbally or in a FaceTime. This texting stuff, does it's not too good. I'm telling you guys, texting is not the best way to communicate. Yes, for us it's easy. Yes, it's like, but... Verbally, uh, it's better to do it in a voicemail where they could, where you can hear the energy of of the person, and they can hear yours. Even though you could feel the energy too texting, that's the problem. But the problem is that sometimes when you text, what you're sending out, they receiving it in a way that is not the way you want to send it out with the intentions. So try to speak to them verbally. And this is one of the biggest things that I have noticed with texting. That sometimes, depending on how you write, gives the wrong understanding on the other side. Or shows a form of either aggressiveness or, or power, or it could be backwards. Uh, um, timid you know um more um shut you know in this way but um these are things that we all gonna we, gonna, we, we all gonna go through tatas are gonna go through it godfathers godmothers are gonna go through it god children are gonna go through it and i'm just trying to put this out here for we could find a way of communicating with our brothers and sisters when we in this mode or that happens to them or happens to us and also with our elders how can we communicate beyond whatever you feel and whatever the elder or the god child feels towards you we have to analyze if it's just us in our mind thinking this way or is it something that you might not uh, you and that and that elder or the other brother and sister might not might have some things that you guys don't click and 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 that's and that's gonna happen I mean that's that's something that is 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 unavoidable not everything that you do your thought is gonna like not everything that he does you're gonna like do you do you do you say anything to your tata about what you don't like about him? Most of us we don't, or her. Most of us we don't because we don't want them to feel that we're trying to disrespect them or not. So we stay quiet unless it's something, you know, that I see that's that for me it seems like it's wrong. You know what I mean? Then I will talk. You know, I'll tell them. You know, but on the side, you know, not in front of everybody. Crazy. That's my elder. Can't make my elder look down, whether it's a female or, or male. When I'm, he's teaching me, she's teaching me. You crazy? But 
this is just a small little topic, something to think about, something to keep in mind. Sometimes these type of misunderstandings and these little things that we go through between each other as our brothers and sisters and between our elders lead us to uh, keep our guard up. And we should not keep our guard up when we have good God parents. It could be a miscommunication from your end or their end or both. Whether it's to a brother or sister, whether it's to the, uh, a God child, to an elder, uh, whether female or male, you know, these are things that happens. See, I'm at, I'm at a point in my life, right, that I've been through so much of this back and forth stuff and all that, that I get to the point sometimes that it's sometimes I say, you know, I want to, you know, keep the best communication I can with my Godfather for the longest that I can. This, these are my wishes, you know, but if anything ever was to, to happen between my Godfather and myself, I, I rather just stay by myself. And people might say, oh, that's wrong, that's not wrong. I'd rather just stay by myself because it, 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 it seems like it becomes a continual thing. And I hope that everybody out there could find a good Godfather and a good God parent where they could stay and stay as long as they can and man, learn as much as they can and all that and and have a good relationship, but that's what it's all about. But there are instances that little minor things, little, little, that you would say dumb thing, depending how you react or how your godfather reacts or how that brother or sister reacts, can make it into a bigger thing. And then it continues getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to something explodes. And then that's where problems come about. I speak from the heart. I speak from the mind, like I say. These are just things that come to my mind, situations that I've been through. And I uh, feel, like feel like sharing it with the brothers and sisters. Hopefully I didn't burn your ears off. You know me, I'm making a donut, trying to make that cheese, that cheddar. <laughs> Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. Have a great day. Um, talk to you guys pretty soon. Peace.